She is a blogger mm -hmm. for the Huffington Post, an author who wrote the book 60 Sex and Tango. Valentine's Day is here. So Joan Moran is going to talk to us about romantic relationships. Not talk to us about it. But no, what? not the relationships that don't have to be romantic between a man and a woman. I was trying to help you out there. Did I say something you wrong? You went wrong, but it's okay. okay. But here's the yeah, thing. I, Steve I, and I, yeah. completely platonic. Yes. It's a great relationship. But we I, I would consider him one of my dearest friends. Yeah. Right. Both married. Both yeah. married. She can't keep her hands off me. Yeah. Right? Here's <laughs> that. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a little risky behavior, but yeah. other I mean, you can be uh, it, it sort of quasi intimate in the sense of t uh, kissing and hugging, but platonic relationships are very important for us in life because they they provide a stable uh, um, honest uh, stressless, hopefully, a relationship other than a romantic relationship. You just don't have romantic relationships all the way through your life. You no. have other kinds of relationships. Well, and I read you wrote your blog for the Huffington Post today about your friend Peter, who you are best, best, besties with, who you tango with. Mm -hmm. He's married, and I, I like to hear a little bit about that tango, relationship. Tango, not tangle. All right, tango. 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 Yes. And his wife doesn't yeah. mind though, because it seems like you guys are very close. Very close. Uh, he he calls me every day. He checks in with me, or I call him. Uh, we see that each, we support each other in all of the uh, various and sundry things that happen to us in life. Mm -hmm. We're devoted. It's much more of a spiritual, philosophical relationship. We talk about everything from world politics to uh, who's on the t tango floor. I give him a tango lesson every week, uh, and that's part of our ritual. So we have boundaries, we have rituals, we have support, and we have a, an unconditional love completely that is not complicated by a sexual relationship. And did you guys make rules or do you just have unwritten rules? We decided a long time ago that this was going to be our relationship. And I have other platonic relationships and that's been the same way. We've, we've established ground rules. We say we don't want to ruin what we have, the devotion that we have. We don't want to complicate it. Not ruin, but complicate it with sexual intimacy. So I think it works really well, and, and I love these relationships that I have. Uh, I think the men are really comfortable. There's a comfort level. Can I, can I uh, jump in with this? Uh, as you know, I have lots of women friends. Yeah. yeah, yeah many. I find that, uh, you know, I have a lot of guy friends, but there's an emotional component to a relationship, a platonic relationship with a woman that you don't have with a guy. Mm -hmm. And there's something about the expression of feelings or vulnerability, et cetera, that you can do with a woman with you know I'm, I'm hanging out with guys and we're talking about sports and you're not going to talk about vulnerability you're not going to express vulnerability right. but it's very easy with women that that's a great component there's a, there's another there are levels there are many levels there's an honesty level no secrets no secrets uh, with with a platonic relationship i i wouldn't think of keeping a secret from him would you or, but, but but here here's where the issue of emotional infidelity can come in not 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 romantic or sexual right. if you share intimate secrets with your friend that you um, don't share with your, your own spouse yes. or about your spouse that's where I would have a problem here's if, but that's a boundary yeah he, he never talks about his marriage his wife no but he'll never tell you things that maybe he won't tell her right not about his marriage not about just um, well I'm not sure about that because I'm not mm. I'm not involved with that we don't right. we don't you know triangulate that relationship in any way um, the honesty is, is uh, I have a couple ground rules, uh, and, and I'm sure he does too. One, we, he doesn't talk about his wife and the relationship with his wife, and I don't talk about my romantic relationships with other men. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, that, I, I think I that's dangerous. Up, before we run out of time, you know what it's like when somebody has a friend of the other sex who when they call, Suddenly, there's energy to talk on the phone. Yes. It's not at home. It's a different. It's, it, that's right. Passion in that relationship. Yeah. That can be problematical. Well, and you talk about the spark that you guys have. You guys have a spark. We have a spark, but it's energy. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's pure energy and it's pure delight. Uh, you could. I don't know what his relationship with his wife is. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. With just me, in, just in general, if it's more passionate, non-sexual, but more passionate yeah. than at home, that can be problematical. It could nope. be it could be risky behavior, but we have a mindset when we go into a platonic relationship, uh, and that mindset is fixed. Mm -hmm. I, I, we don't cross it. I don't yeah. know. I don't know what happens in the brain that says this is what this relationship is, and I don't go 
I don't go yeah. past that. Okay. You keep we that. have our. I, I know. Your I'll boundaries. keep that boundary with you, Steve. What, what is your boundary? With you, you don't even what want to know. What is it? I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I told you what yeah, it is, okay. right? Uh, for more on Joan's advice uh, from her blog and article in the Huffington Post, we link you to our website at myfoxla.com. The author of Sixty Sex and, and Tango. Tango. You didn't have to say it on your head today. Thank you so much. Nice Steve. to see you, Jane. Nice Thank you very much. Thank you.